Early winter is a transition time. Many lakes are beginning to ice over, but are not safe yet. For a while, there are fewer and fewer places to fish, but there is one close at hand, and the fishing has been incredible. That is, of course, Utah Lake. There is no ice on the big lake for the most part, and white bass are schooled up in huge numbers. Most access points around the lake are experiencing great fishing now, including all of the marinas and of course Lincoln Beach County Park, long famous for its white bass, channel cat, and walleye fishing. White bass were introduced to the big lake sometime in the 50s. The fish, native to the Midwest, found the habitat to their liking. Fishermen have been pursuing them with great success ever since. Recently, partly because of the endangered June Sucker program, the Utah Department of Wildlife Resources has removed the limit. It is their position that the populations were so high, the fish were stunting. One answer was to eliminate the possession limit. It's possible to catch hundreds of the scrappy little fighters in a matter of a few hours and many individuals do so, without any noticeable harm to the fishery. The commercial fishermen who are removing carp from the lake can also take white bass in large numbers. The result of all of this is larger, healthier white bass. Everyone wins. As a general rule, white bass in Utah Lake average between 8 and 11 inches. Many larger ones have been caught through the years. The Utah state record is a four pound, one ounce fish caught by John Welker out of Utah Lake in 1970. The International Game Fish Association's all tackle world record is a huge six pound, 13 ounce fish caught on the Amite River in Louisiana. White bass can live up to nine years under ideal conditions. Related species are yellow bass, rock bass, striped bass, and of course, another popular Utah fish, the wiper, a cross between the white bass and the striped bass. White bass are very aggressive feeders, taking small insects and crustaceans. Although they will feed on small minnows, they are not primarily fish eaters. They will take small pieces of white bass or worms attached to the hook but small lowers are hands down more successful. I prefer small spinners, such as the MEPS or rooster tail, and size ot or ones. Silver or brass blades have been the most successful for me. The great majority of anglers use a 1 8 or even a 16th of an ounce jig head with a plastic grub. Colors can matter depending on the day and the light conditions. Arguably, a black or purple body with a yellow or chartreuse tail has caught more white bass out of Utah Lake than any other lure setup. In a little larger size, they are also great for walleye in the spring. These aggressive little fighters can be fun on a light tackle. An ultralight rod and reel loaded with two or four pound line is the ideal setup. Granted, you can catch just as many on heavier tackle, but it's not as much sport. With the schools being around launch ramps, jetties across the lake, fishing for white bass is a great experience for the young angler. The kids can catch a lot of fish with almost every cast when conditions are right. The fishing will remain good until ice over, and then it will still be good as the big schools move into the shallow waters under the ice. Enjoy this prolific fishery. Fillet some of them for the deep fryer. They are delicious, and the eating experience justifies the expense of the fishing license. Good luck, good fishing. Till I see you again, remember, take your kid fishing. <laughs>